for privilege. Thank you, I thank God Almighty Hallelujah. for giving me the opportunity. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Jesus. Father, you are worthy to be praised. Amen. Lord, you are worthy. Blessed be your holy name, Jesus. Oh, yes, Father. Blessed be to your name, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you Father. Thank you, I thank God Almighty for making it available for me. And I thank the host also, and I thank everyone in the platform. I pray that God Almighty will continue to increase us. He will continue Amen. to protect and guide us. He will continue to empower us in this journey in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Father. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. You are glorious. You are glorious. Thank you, faithful God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I know. My Redeemer lives there. I know you are not far from our soul. Oh, I know when you shall the whole world I know my Redeemer lives there. I know you are not far from the world. I know when you shall The one we know, the one I know, I know, I am very sure. I know you are not the I know where you, you shall the world will I know my redeemer. I I know, I know you are not, not far from me. From I know, know where you shall shall The world we know, the world we know, the world we know. For our God is a, is a God of judgment. When he will arise from the throne of mercy, when God, when the hour we come and say no to the grace that will be given to the whole world, and the world we know that our Redeemer, that King, that God has shared his blood on the cross of Calvary, those who that is what, then we know that he lives. Those who say Jesus is not coming, then we know that he, he, he lives. Then we know that Jesus lives. Mm -hmm. Those who say, ah, we have been hearing it, but yet he has not come. Then we know that Jesus lives. Those who that is world, those who compromise the word of God, those who say grace has been given to everyone. That we can live anyhow, then we know that Jesus lives. For, For our God is a holy God. Therefore, a time is coming, the hour is closed, that we arise from the, the throne of mercy. That we arise, a time is coming, the hour is near. 
that Jesus will blow the trumpets, that the grace that was given to man will be taken away. The hour is near. The time is close. Before we go into the word of God, I want us to go to Psalm. I want us to read this Bible verse for we to understand and for God to help every one of us in the name of Jesus. Psalm Amen. 78, verse 1. Thank you, Psalm, Lord Jesus. 78, sir. Psalm 78, verse 1. Verse 1. Yes, sir. Give ear, O oh, my people, to my law. Mm. Incline your ear to the words of my mouth. Amen. Amen. Praise Amen. the living God. Hallelujah. Who are the people of God? We are the people. We are the children of God. Jesus is telling us to, we should give our ears to his word. We should open our ears to the word of God. We should not yet eat and neglect the word, but hear the word and obey. Hear the word and keep the word of God. We should not just hear it and neglect it. We should not hear the word of God and talk with it. Praise the living God. Hallelujah. Jesus is telling us tonight that we should give our ears to his word. We should give our ears to the word of God. We should not joke with the word of God. We should not play with the word of God. Let's hear it and obey it. Praise Master Jesus. Let's hear the word of God and obey. We should not be the hearer alone, but let us be the doer of the word of God. Let us be among those that hear the word and obey. Let us be among the, the, the people that hear the word and keep God's commandments. We should not just hear it alone. That after we hear it, we do not use it. That after we hear the word, we do not obey. He said, give your ear to his word. He is commanding us as his children. Jesus is commanding us tonight as his children, as the children that he loves so much. He said, we should give our ears to his word. We should not neglect the word of God. We should not look down on the world, but let us hear the word and obey and put it into practice. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the living God. I pray that the Lord will help us. I pray that Jesus will give us the grace to give ear to the world and obey his commandments. We should not be the hearer alone. We should not be among those that connect and go back the same way. But let us connect and have something every blessed day in our garden. We should learn something and keep it and practice it. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, faithful God. Do not be the hearer alone. But let the word that you are hearing every day, let it bear fruit in your life. Let the word that we are hearing every day, let it manifest, let it be seen in us by people. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus is telling us we should give our ear to his commandments, to his will, because there is no more time. We should obey the word because there is no more time. We should not look down on the word of God. This is Jesus. The Bible that we are carrying is Christ. The Bible that we are carrying is Christ. We should obey it. As we hear it, let us obey the word. As we hear it, let us put it in practice. We should not be the era alone. We should not be those that go to church, church goer. We should not be among them. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Father, help us, O oh God, to put your word into practice. Lord, help Amen. us to put your word in practice. Amen. We should not be the era alone. Let the word bear fruit in our lives. 
Let the word of God that we are hearing, let it bear fruit. Let people around us see the word that we are hearing day by day. We should not just connect for nothing. We should not connect because others connect. We should not connect because I want to connect. But let us connect, let us be here with our open ear. Let us connect to hear and to receive the word that every preacher preach in this platform. We should not look down on any message because this is Christ. Our Bible is Christ. The Bible is Christ. It's not the word of man, but it's the word of God. It's the word that was given for us for we to understand the way of our father. The word was given to us so that we can know how we can live our life. It's given to us for us to live holy, for we to live as Christ, for we to live as Jesus has commanded us to live, but not the way we want to live, not the way that pleases us, but the way that Christ wants for us. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the living God. Hallelujah. I want us to open to Titus 2. The topic of the message, we should not neglect, we should not use less the grace that was given to us. Do not use less the grace. Don't misuse the grace. Because a time we come, the grace will not be available. Because a time we come, this opportunity will not be there. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Titus 2. Titus 2 what, ma? 11 to 12, ma. I read. Amen. For the grace of God that brings salvation has appeared to all men. Okay. Verse, verse 12. Teaching us that denying ungodliness and unworthy loss, we should live soberly, righteously, and godly in the present age, 13. Looking no, no, for no. The... Oh, no, okay, Sma. Thank you, ma. Praise the living God. Hallelujah. The grace that was given to us, the grace of God. It's not because we, 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 we are obedient children that make us to give us that grace. He gave us the grace for we to come out from our sin. Jesus gave us the grace. The grace is there for us. We should not misuse it. We should not say ah, the grace of God is there for us that we should live anyhow. We should not say because the grace of God is available for all that we should live the way that we want to live. The grace was given to us for we to live like Christ. For we to live the way he wants us to live. That is why the grace was given to us. He shed his blood. He died on the cross so that we can have the privilege, so that we can have the opportunity to come into his kingdom. To come into his kingdom. Are we choking with the grace? Are we playing with the grace? Are we choking with the grace that was given to us, to all men? The grace was not given to us for we to live anyhow. The grace of God was not given to us for we to be clubbing. As a child of God, we need to live holy. As a children of God, we need to live holy. Live a righteous and holy life. The grace is not there for we to be for we to turn to liars. The grace is not there for we to live a worldly life, for we to dress anyhow. That is not the reason the grace was given to us. The grace found me and you. That is why we are here tonight. If not the grace of God, many die in their sin. 
Many did not have their privilege to come out for their sin before death took them away. Before death took them away. Anyone that died in their sin, there is no repentance in the grave. We that have the privilege, what are we doing with the opportunity that God gives to us? Are we playing with it? Are we choking with it? Are we using it the way we want? Because Jesus shared his blood on the cross. Many will say, ah, how can Jesus destroy the children that he created? How can Christ destroy those that he created? It's not possible. Hmm. I pray that God will help us. Amen. I pray that the Lord will give us the wisdom, the knowledge, the understanding of his word. Because anyone that lacks the understanding of the word of God, it will be too hard for that person to understand the things of God. I pray that that will not be our portion in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 The grace was given to us for we to come to Christ. The grace was given to us not for us to live a sinful life, but for we to come out from our sin. For us to repent. Who are we, if not the grace? Who are we to call on the holy name of Jesus? If not the grace that was given to us. If not grace that Jesus gave to us. Who are we to gather in his name? We should not neglect the grace. We should not joke with the grace that is given to us. Because it is only when you are alive that grace will work for you. It is only when I'm alive that this grace is still working. If death come, no more grace. If death come, no more blood that was shed on the cross of Calvary. We should not joke with our life because there is no repentance in the grave. There is no excuse after we leave this earth, because the grace was given to us for we to repent, for we to live a holy and righteous life. There is no excuse in the grace. There is no, I don't know, because the world is there to teach us. The word of God is there to teach us the way, to show us as Christ wants us to live, we should not play with the grace. We should not joke with the blood of Jesus. Let us obey the word of God and let's keep his commandments. I pray that the Lord will help us in the name Amen. of Jesus. Amen. I want us to go to Romans 6. Romans chapter 6, verse 1. To Tusa. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Romans 6, from 1 to 2. Yes, I read. What Amen. shall we say then? Okay. What shall, shall we continue in sin mm -hmm. that grace may abound? Hmm. Verse 2. Sincerely yes. not. How shall we who how shall we who die to sin live any longer in it? Amen. Continue, ma. No, hold on, ma. Praise okay. the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He said, shall we continue to live in sin that grace may abide? The word of God said, God forbid. He said, God forbid that we will continue to live in sin. He said, God forbid that we will continue to swim in sin. I said, there is grace. He said, shall we continue? The word of God is asking us tonight. He's asking me and you that shall we continue to swim in sin? Shall we continue to live a sinful life? I said, there is grace. 
I say, Grace, we are back. He said, No. God forbid that the grace will continue. A dead man cannot have the grace of God. A dead woman cannot have the grace of the Almighty. We should not say because there is grace. We should not say there is grace for us. Let us live anyhow. We should not say, ah, let that preacher be preaching. The grace is there. He said, shall we continue to live so that grace may abide? He said, no. The Bible is telling us that grace will not continue forever. The grace will not continue forever. It will not continue because when the rapture takes place, there will be no more grace. When the trumpet sound now, the grace will not be available. The grace will not be available if rapture takes place now. If the trumpet sounds, if they take anyone, the grace is no more available. The grace is no more available. If the rapture, if the rapture takes place, hmm, will Jesus blow the trumpet and leave the grace? Will the rapture take place and leave the grace? No. Hmm? Everything will be taken away. Grace will not be there. The blood of Jesus, the name will no longer work for anyone that will be left behind. The grace of God will not be there for anyone in proper sound tonight. The grace will not be there. If the trumpet sound tonight, the grace, the opportunity, the blood of Jesus, the name will be taken away. The name will be taken away. The grace will be taken away. How are we living our life? Are we living it because there is grace for us? Are we enjoying a sinful life because the blood of Jesus is there? Are we living that life that Christ wants us to live? Or we are living for ourselves because Jesus shared his blood on the cross. Jesus did not share his blood for we to live a sinful life. He did not give us the grace for we to continue in sin. He did not share his blood for we to continue in sin. The grace was not given to us for we to swim in sin. That after service, after you drop your Bible, you went to a club, party, grooving yourself, and you forget about your soul. Enjoy your life. You think that you are enjoying life. You think that you are you are you are you are you are, you, you are wise than your friends. They are giving their life to Christ. All your neighbors, you think that ah, those are Jews, they don't know anything. Are you thinking about your soul? Many go to a club, they never return back home. Some of them die on their way. Some of them were poisoned in the club. Are we thinking about our soul? That you drop a sign, there will be no more grace. That you drop a sign, the name of Jesus will no longer work for us. Are we thinking about our soul? That after rapture, there is no more grace. That after death, there is no more grace. Do we follow alcohol more than our soul? Do we follow club more than our soul? Do we follow silver and gold to lie more than our soul? We should think about our life. 
because there is no more time. We know that we have been hearing it that trumpet is about to sound, and yet he has not sound. Are you thinking about the people that you see yesterday and today you did not see them anymore? Those people you see that they are burying. Those people you see that they died by car accident. Those people that you see that ah, you hear that they sleep, they did not wake up. Do you think about them? Do you think about those people? They never plan to die. They never wish to die. They never wish to die. And if anyone told them that, ah, my sister, my brother, you will not see the end of this month, or you will not see the end of this year, he will hold that person and say, what do you mean? Death cannot give dates. Death cannot write a letter. He cannot write a letter to anyone that I'm coming, prepare yourself. That cannot say I am coming so so time, be ready. No, we have to prepare ourselves. We have to prepare our soul. We should not value the earthly things more than our soul. We should not value the things of this world more than our soul. Because a time we call, those things will not be existing. A time we call, those things will vanish away. A time we call, no matter how much you have in your back account, if that want to call, that money will not hold that. It will come. And the money will remain in the bank. Even the money will not even know whether the owner is dead. The money will not know. No matter what you acquire or eat, if you leave that thing today, if you give up a ghost tonight, they will not know whether their owner is gone. Praise the living God. Hallelujah. They will not know. We should not follow those things more than our soul. We should not follow it more than our soul. We should not value them because all is vanity. All is vanity. If we prefer those things more than our soul, hmm, where are we going to spend our eternity? Are we going with those things? Are we going with our mansion? Are we going with our worldly life? No, we should not neglect the grace. The grace is still available for us. Let us amend our way. You know that your way is not right with God. You know that, ah, Jesus. You know that, yes, yeah, this life that I'm living is not the life that Christ wants me to live. Do not abuse the grace. Do not abuse the grace. You that have it, you may have it today, may not have it tomorrow. You may have the grace today, it may not be available for you tomorrow. It may not be available for me tomorrow, but now that we have it, we should not abuse it. We should not joke with it. We should not play with it because we don't know what tomorrow will be. We don't know. It is only God that know tomorrow. Even we don't even know after this, after now, what will happen, we don't know. It is only He that sitting on the throne. It is only God that know the next step. We don't know. We may plan and say, ah, this is what I will do tomorrow. God might say, ah, my daughter, my son, this grace is no more for you. It's not available for us. It's not there again. We should not play with it. Now that we have it, now that we have it, we should not joke with it. 
We should not play with this blood. We should not joke with the blood of Jesus, the grace of God. We should not joke with it. Let us hold it way. Let us hold this grace. Hmm. Oh, Father, help us. Lord, help us. Because many think that this grace will continue forever. Many think that this blood of Jesus, this name of the Lord will continue forever. No. It will not continue forever. The grace will not continue forever. The blood of Jesus that was shed on the cross will not continue forever. It will not continue. Because after the rapture, the grace will not be available. After trumpet sound, after a man give up a ghost, the blood will not be available. Are you thinking about your soul? Are you thinking about your life? Are we thinking about our life? Let me not remove myself. Are we thinking about our life? We see people on Facebook. We are writing recipes for them. No, we don't need to write recipes. We need to sit down and cry for our soul. We recipes take that to heaven if they did not live right. No. We your prayer take that to the kingdom of God if they did not obey the word of God. If they did not live the way Christ wanted to live, no matter the prayer that you utter, they are going nowhere. No matter your rest in peace in their picture, be our beloved ones. It will not take that to anywhere. It's our life, the life that we live here, that we determine where we are going. It's our obedience to the word of God that we determine where we are going. If we refuse to obey the word of God and say there is grace for us, judgment is waiting for everyone. If we say, ah, let me not obey, let me live as I want. Ah, this life is so sweet. We think that there is enjoyment. There is no enjoyment on earth. There is no enjoyment. Think about the years that you will spend on earth and think about the years that you will spend in hell or in heaven. Anyone that refuses to obey the word of God, we are there going because of grace. We there go to heaven. No, the grace will not take that to heaven because the grace we are given to us for we to repent, for we to live as Christ commanded us to live. Praise the living God. Hallelujah. That is why the grace was given to us. The grace is not there in the grave. Anyone that dies in sin, there is no heaven. Anyone that dies in sin, no heaven. No heaven. We should not say grace is there. We should not say Jesus has shed his blood. He will not destroy us. We should not deceive ourselves. We should not deceive ourselves because of the blood. We should not deceive ourselves. Because the grace was for us to come out from sin. The grace was given to us for we to come to Christ. Let us obey the word of God because there is no more time. Let's obey our maker because our God is the honor of our soul. Is the reason we breathe. The breath is not for us. 
It did not belong to us, but it belongs to Christ. It belongs to him that can take it anytime. It belongs to him that can take it anytime that he chooses to take it. And no one can stop him. Our money cannot even stop him. No matter what we acquire on earth, no matter the fans that we have, no matter the population that we have as a preacher, no matter the population as a pastor, the dead, he cannot stop him. Our money cannot stop Christ. If you want to take it anytime, he can take it. If Jesus wants to say, no, I don't care whether you obey or you disobey, the hour has come for the person to come home and nobody can stop him. Nobody. Nobody can stop him. Nobody can stop him. Nobody. This woman has stayed in town, she's gone. She's gone. Are you thinking about your God? Are we thinking about our life? Or we are abusing the grace? Or we are talking because there is grace for us? What are we doing? Are we thinking about tomorrow? Say, if I turn now, am I going to make it? Are we thinking about our soul? Are we thinking about our soul? Our money will not stop death. Our money will not take us to heaven. Our money will not stop God for what He wants to do. We should not neglect the grace. We should not neglect the opportunity that is given to us today. Let us live a holy life. The only way they expect us is available. It is only now that the trumpet are not sound. If the trumpet sound, no more grace. No more grace. No more grace. Heaven is real. Oh, Father. He said, come to Christ today. Do not look at your money. Do not look at your words. The plan that you have in your workshop, do not think about them. Because very soon, those days, you will not remember them anymore. You will not remember those things anymore. When death come, you will not even remember whether you have children or not. Not to talk of money. The time we come, if death come, if death come, that place, you will not remember anything. You will not remember whether you marry or not, whether you have husband, whether you have children, whether you have money. That's it now, that you refuse to that your makeup, at this time that you refuse to abandon, you will not remember the anymore. You will not remember anyone. You will not remember. Are you thinking about your life that you wrapped up the place now? Am I going to be among those that we are sent for heaven? Are we thinking about our life? Or we are thinking about our back again? What are we thinking about every day of our life? Are we thinking about our beauty in Nigeria, our master? The asset that we have. Just say that we found your way. Tell we go that we be no more. People prophets say we no more. Miracles, signs, and wonder. This country will be no more. It tell we go, we vanish away. It is only the world that we find. It is only the world that we find. We should think about our life. We should think about our life because we don't hold this world. We don't hold this life that we are living. This life belongs to Jesus. This life that we are living is not for us. It's not for us, my brothers and sisters. 
Let us think about our life. Let us think about our soul. Where we are going to spend our eternity. Let us think about where we are going to spend eternity. Because the God that goes to hell will not come up for me. He's forever and ever. He's forever and ever. We do not allow the things of this world to deceive us. We should not allow this land to take us away from God. We should not allow the flesh to take us to hell. Let us think about our soul. Let's think about our soul as well as our sister. Let us think about our soul because no one knows his time. Nobody knows his day. Nobody knows his hour. Let's think about our soul. Let us think about our soul, my brothers and sisters. Let us think about our soul. We see today does not mean that we will see tomorrow. Those that see yesterday, not all that see today. Not everyone that sees 2022 that we see our life today. Not everyone. Not everyone. Not everyone. We are here tonight. There are people that is crying for their loved ones. There are people that is crying for their loved ones. There are people, no one knows his tongue. Nobody knows his tongue. It is only God. It is only God. It is only God. Let's think about our soul, my brothers and sisters. Let us think about our soul. Let's obey the word of God. Let's obey the word of God. We do not obey the flesh. Because we return to dust the time we burn. That this flesh will be no more. We should not allow this flesh to deceive us. We should not allow the flesh to deceive us. My brothers and sisters, we should not allow the flesh to deceive us. Because we return back to where it comes from. This flesh will return back to where it comes from. We should not allow it to deceive us. Let's repent genuinely. Let's thank God with all our hearts. We should not doubt the word of God. We should not question about the word of God because no one knows it all. Nobody knows his death. No one knows the time of rapture. No one knows the time that we leave this earth. But it is only God that knows all things. We should not allow the flesh. We should not allow the flesh to take us to hell. We should not allow the flesh to take us to hell. Let's obey the word of God. My brothers and sisters, let's obey the word of God. Let us repent genuinely. Do not abuse the grace that is given to us. We should not abuse the grace. We should not abuse the grace. We should not allow my woman to deceive us. We should not allow anyone to deceive us. We have been deceived before, but now that we have called to the light, we should not doubt the word of God. We should not doubt the word of God. The word of God can never lie. The word of God can never lie. It can never deceive us. The word cannot deceive us. Man, we deceive us. We might deceive ourselves with that is here, but the word of God can never deceive. The world cannot deceive. Jesus cannot deceive his children. He loves us so much. He wants our soul to be saved. He wants us to live with him in that paradise. We should not allow the things of this earth to take us away from that paradise. We should not allow the things of this earth the thing that we vanish away, the thing that if we die, we will not remember anymore. And if we die, they will not remember us. We should live a life of holiness and righteousness. We should live that life that Christ wants us to live so that when he comes, he will take us home. If we pretend to live a holy life, if we pretend to live a righteous life, if drop a son, will you make it? Deceiver will not make it. 
pretender will not make it. Pretender. Pretend to be holy. Pretend to be righteous. Pretend to obey the word of God. They will not make it. They will not make it if the rapture take place now. If trumpets sound now, they will not make it. It is only those that obey the word of God genuinely. Even the man of God is telling you a preacher, he's telling you, my sister, you will make heaven. If you do not live holy, you are going nowhere. If you do not obey the word of God, no matter how, how praise that preacher give to you, uh, that my brother, my sister, you are a candidate, you will make heaven. Without obeying the word of God, we are going nowhere. If we do not obey the word, it's not mad that we take us to heaven. Let us know that. It's not our pastor. It's not our prophet that will take us to heaven. It's our obedience to the word of God that will take us to heaven. If we say, ah, oh, my pastor is praising me, let me live the way I want. <laughs> Your pastor will disappear and you will remain. I pray that that will never be our portion in the name of Jesus. I pray that the Lord will help us. God will give us the grace to run this race and he will direct us. The Lord, the Lord will show us his way in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father.